What is the one skill that if you learned this skill, you could create powerful sexual tension and attraction and a deeper emotional connection? What is this one skill? Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you all about this one skill and how to build it. And we're starting right now. mate is Ollie once again helping you become a genuinely confident and attractive man. A book I want you to read is called The Men's Guide to Women by John Gottman. John Gottman runs the Love Lab and he's known as the guy who can predict whether a relationship is going to work out with about 94% accuracy from video footage alone. The one skill that John Gottman recommends in his book that all men should learn, especially in relation to women, is the skill of attunement. What is attunement? Attunement is being emotionally present with your partner. It's being emotionally present with a woman. If a woman, as you may have noticed if you've been in a relationship with a woman, if you are consistently not present with her, if you're consistently in your head, if, you can, if you're not really listening to her, you're not really feeling with empathy her emotions that she's going through, if you're just trying to fix all her problems in like a very strict logical sense, if you're on your phone on, on a date, etc. These problems, this problem of lack of presence, lack of attunement will create issues further down the line. And maybe she's even said this to you in the past. Maybe you're in a relationship right now or have been in the past and she actually said, you're just not here. You're not with me right now. Where are you kind of thing? And this is an indication of a lack of attunement. And why is this super important? Because in order for a woman to open up to you, emotionally, physically, spiritually, sexually, she has to feel safe, not just in a physical sense, but she has to feel safe with you to be her full self. But how do you actually implement attunement and how do you build the skill? Well, here are a few things that have helped me. Number one, distractions. Remove them. If she's around you, if she's trying to talk to you, don't be watching the TV, don't be on the phone, <laughs> don't be on your phone, don't be scrolling, etc. Pay attention, okay? Pay attention to her. Now, it may be the case that you're trying to distract yourself because of some other emotional issue that you have, right? And then when you actually put away the phone and don't watch the TV, you're actually feeling very tense in the body. That might be its own problem. The second thing I'd suggest is to make eye contact. Look at her, look at her, make eye contact. Allow yourself to just feel where she's at, okay? Feel her on a more emotional level, on a slightly deeper level. The third thing, listen without trying to fix. Listen without trying to fix. It can be quite difficult as, as guys, because usually we see things in terms of like a problem solving. But when it comes to a woman and her emotions, oftentimes she doesn't want you to fix her emotions. She doesn't see her emotions as a problem, right? She doesn't want you to just instantly just go in and try and change things. She wants to, maybe she wants to feel things for a bit, or she doesn't actually see emotions as an issue. Listen, be with her, okay? Allow her to be in this space. Hold space for her. And the fourth thing I would suggest is that you simply ask, okay? You ask, you follow up, you clarify. If she's telling you about her day, right? She's been struggling with some stuff. You don't fully understand the story. Ask her, say, hey, listen, I don't understand this bit. How do you feel about that, etc." You don't have to interrogate her. As I say, what's more important than anything else is holding the space and being present, okay? So she can feel that she's not alone, right? So she, she can feel that she has your presence there and she feels safe, okay? And the, the sooner she can feel safe, the better both of you are gonna feel. Now you can apply this in a relationship, but you can also apply this on first dates, etc. Attunement as a skill is a powerful presence practice for you as a man, but it's also powerful in your dating life as well. So go out, learn some attunement, pop a comment down below, let me know what you think about this video and about the practice of attunement. And if you read the book, what do you think about the book? Let me know. All right, peace guys, I'll see you next time. Take care. That is it from me. <laughs> All right, take it easy.